Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How you going? Wow. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. How did it go for you? Wink gangbusters for our retailers and had a few discussions on Shopify and there's a few articles on Shopify. Had a few discussions on LinkedIn about Shopify because Shopify have got a big article out about how all their retailers made uh, record numbers. Really, really great to see and I, I forget what the number is. Sorry, Geordie. Um, it was something like $5 billion or something. Incredible. Uh, and... Uh, our merchants did really, really well across a range of platforms. So, you know, one of them was Shopify, but um, we had others. There was OpenCart, there was uh, Kendico, there was Word, WordPress, WooCommerce, there was um, but a couple of Shopify ones as well. Uh, but interestingly, and this is, this is the sort of stuff that um, makes me think and makes me wonder, uh, and tends to do my head in just a little bit. The search volume wasn't there for Black Friday this year in Australia. Now, I've got a couple of theories about this, but uh, and we, look, we had some retailers that have doubled their revenue since last year, uh, but they didn't do Black Friday because of that reason. They just didn't need to. So we've got quite a few retailers that just don't even bother with it because of the nature of the product. Uh, they're doing really well, they don't need to do a discount, and others use it as uh, a, a, a basically a, a big revenue stream at that time of year. So it just depends on business, and certainly uh, it works really, 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 really well for some. But look at that. And what I've got here is obviously a number of large Australian retailers, um, certainly no pure play retailers in there. These are all bricks and mortar and uh, uh, they've all gone online as well. But the interesting thing about this year and that green spike represents searches for Black Friday in Australia. I think last year was a bit of a breakout year. And as I did the show at the end of last year talking about Black Friday, and I'll probably do another one in January about how Boxing Day compared this year to Black Friday. Uh, I think there was a, a lot more media about it. Now, I don't watch television, so uh, I don't really know. Uh, but that's the feeling I get from the things I see online and people talking about it. There wasn't as much what is Black Friday type searches in these, um, in these search results. Whereas last year there was. There, are a lot, there was a lot more of, why is it called Black Friday? Because to Australians, it sounds stupid, right? It sounds like a bad day. It doesn't sound like a day you have a sale. And why do you call it Black Friday? Isn't that Friday the 13th? Anyway, so there was a lot of that last year in Australia. And of course, all of this comes out of the US. Uh, their Thanksgiving Day weekend. I hope you all had a, a lovely weekend. But what you can see here over the course of that year, that big dip there, of course, is uh, the lockdown coming to place in Australia. And then this is the subsequent spike of people looking for toilet paper and <laughs> trying to buy things online because they can't get out of the house, right? And then you can see how that travels for the rest of the year. So when you look at the, the difference between say 2019 and 2018, throughout the course of, of the year, and I guess the easiest one there to see is JB Hi-Fi. You can see there's not a lot of difference between the two years, but this year, there is. Now, that will mean a lot of, obviously, people who already know the brand and people who are maybe shopping uh, at the stores, but are not this year because they can't because the stores are closed. So they're going online. Also, a lot of new users who may not have bought from the brand or only occasionally bought from those brands are also being forced online. Now, when that happens, all of these businesses, of course, have got EDMs, right? Because they're all, and obviously, you're building your list like everybody else. And, you know, once they get, you know, their abandoned shopping cart emails, their, um, you know, thank you emails, the, all of these follow-ups that we, we, we do as, well, not me, because I'm not a retailer, but retailers do, uh, we do it for our clients. All of that, is where the long-term value is for the business because they're building the list and they're building that relationship with the customer. 
So I, I think what we're seeing here, because when we look at, say, 2018 versus this year for Black Friday, we still had an upward trajectory. I think this was a bit of an outlier, and I think a lot of this search volume for just that phrase, Black Friday, like what Black Friday deals are, where are they, who's got them, all of there's a lot more EDMs going out this year because those lists with those retailers have grown. Like you can see here, this one is, what's that? Uh, maybe 50% up, 50% up in last year, say on average. So if you've got that much more uh, people hitting your site and people buying from you, and you are marketing directly to them, Maybe the things that they would normally look for, for the Black Friday deals, they're already finding out through their email. Now, don't have any hard evidence of this, but I'd be interested to know what you think. So they're my two theories. However, <laughs> when we <laughs> go and have a look at the United States, because these are the things that, uh, that interest me, I really should put on my glasses. Uh, when we go and have a look at the United States, we can see a different picture altogether. Now, obviously, it's very different over there. You know, we've had this, it's almost like a, a stable date that, yeah, it always happens, it always happens, it always happens. Except this year. <laughs> it didn't happen at all. Uh, now, you could say, oh, well, that reflects Australia. Maybe. Maybe similar things. But obviously, there's a lot more going on in the US than what there is in Australia. And uh, there's a lot more upheaval, there's a lot more people out of work. Uh, in Australia, we've got a lot of, we've had a lot of corporate welfare, if you like, this year. I put my hand up for that, don't worry about that. A lot of others did too. Um, and so the, 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 there's been a massive change, I think, in obviously the shopping habits this year, but I, th I think it's impacted that Black Friday thing in a few ways. but. None of our retailers have had a bad sales season because of it. So you would have to say, well, the search volume for people searching for Black Friday is down, but it doesn't seem to have affected sales. I'd love to know your theories, what you think, if you're gonna have a look at the data yourself, uh, because it's, um, it's fascinating. You can dive deeper into some of those related queries. You're not gonna find much though, as, as opposed to, you know, looking directly at a brand and those sorts of things. But what we saw in the lead up to Black Friday was a lot more people looking for buy now, pay later. So Klarna, um, Afterpay, all of, all of these services. So there was a lot of that going on this year as well, which wasn't happening last year. Maybe they're buying through those apps as well, like ZipPay and those sorts of things. Maybe they're buying through the Shopify app and those sorts of things. So we're not actually seeing it in the search volume. It's interesting. Love to know what you think. Uh, now, next year, oh, we will be doing another show this year, but next year, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, less reveals on the show that we've always done in previous years as far as, look what we just discovered. Uh, I'm saving that for private webinars. Uh, because we've been giving it a lot away for 16 years. And uh, the stuff that we're doing now is just extraordinary. Like uh, I've had the first time in my career, I've, I've, I've had so many emails from clients saying, you guys are just amazing because we've been focusing on revenue. They don't say that when you're focused on SEO and rankings. They don't say that when you're just focused on ads. But when you're focused on everything and you're focused on revenue goals and you're working with your client and you're pushing your client and the client is surprised at you saying, no, we, we need to lift budgets. Uh, it makes a, for a much different relationship and it makes for a, a more exciting uh, work environment and partnership, if you like. But it's been extraordinary. So thank you. To those clients, if you haven't been watching, they're probably not because they don't need to. Uh, but thank you to uh, Richard, Cara, Toby, uh, Debbie, I'm going to forget a bunch. Um, 
Dave, Rob, anyway, you know who you are. So thank you for all those emails. And next year, if you want to find out the, uh, the really interesting money-making stuff, I'll be talking about the webinars here that we're going to be doing it. And I'll bring you more information, obviously, just on the general YouTube channel. But subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, because that's where I'll be uh, telling you about the webinars and, and how to get in on that. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you had a good year. And please let me know your thoughts either on, either on LinkedIn or on uh, YouTube. Uh, what do you think? Why is this happening? Love to know. Please share, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Hopefully that's helpful. See you next week. Bye.